You hear the learned Bellario, what he writes. And here, I take it, is the doctor come. Give me your hand, come you from old Bellario. I did, my lord. You are welcome, take your place. Are you acquainted with the difference that holds this present question in the court? I am informed thoroughly of the cause. Which is the merchant here, and which the Jew? Antonio and old Shylock both stand forth. Is your name Shylock? Shylock is my name. Of a strange nature is the suit you follow. We are in such rule that the Venetian law cannot impugn you as you proceed. You stand within this nature, do you not? Eh? So it says. Do you confess the bond? I do. Then must the Jew be merciful. On what compulsion must I tell me that? The quality of mercy is not a strained. It dropped it. As a gentle ring from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. This mightiest in the mightiest. It becomes the true monarch better than his crown. His scepter shows the force of temporal power. The attribute to awe and majesty, wherein that seem the dread and fear of kings. But mercy is above this scepter's sway. It is enthroned in the hearts of kings. It is an attribute to God himself. An earthly power that then show likest gods. When mercy ceases, justice. Therefore, Jew, though justice be thy plea, consider this, that in the course of justice, none of us should see salvation. We do pray for mercy, and that same prayer doth teach us all to render the deeds of mercy. I have spoken thus much to mitigate the justice of thy plea, which if thou follow this strict court of Venice, must needs give sentence against the merchant there. My beads upon my head, I crave the loan, the penalty and forfeit of my bond. Is he not able to discharge the money? Yes. Here, I tender it for him the coin. Yeah, choice to sum. If that will not suffice, I will be bound to pay it ten times over. Shayla, this takes the money offered thee. An oath, an oath. I have an oath in heaven. Shall I lay perjury upon my soul? No, not for Venice. Why this bond is forfeit, and lawfully by this the Jew may claim, a pound of flesh to be by him cut off. Near is the merchant's heart, be merciful. Take thrice the money, bid me tear the bond. When it is paid according to the tenor, it doth appear you are worthy judge. You know the law, your exposition hath been most sound. I charge you by the law, whereof you are well deserving, pillar. Proceed to judgment. By my soul, I swear there is no power in the tongue of man to alter me. I stay here on my bond. Most heartily, I do beseech the court to give the judgment. Why then? Thus it is. You must prepare your bosom for his knife. O oh, noble judge, O oh, excellent young man. For the intent and purpose of the law has full relation to the penalty which here appeared due upon the bond. I his breast, so he says the bond. Doth it not, noble judge? Nearest his heart, those are the very words. It is so. Are there balance here to weigh the flesh? 
I have been ready. Have by some surgeon, Shylock, on your charge to stop his wounds, lest he do bleed to death. It is so nominated in the bond. It is not so expressed, but what of that? Do our good you do so much for charity? I cannot find it, it's not in the bond. You, merchant, have you anything to say? But Leto, I am armed and well prepared. Give me your hands, Bosani, fit you in. We try full time, I pray thee, pursue sentence. A pound of the same merchant's flesh is thine. The court awards it, and the law doth give it. Most rightful judge! And you must cut this flesh from off his breast. The law allows it, and the court awards it. Most learned judge! Ascendance, come prepare! Tarry a little. There is something else. This bond doth give thee here no jar of blood. The words expressly are a pound of flesh. Take then thy bond. Take do thy pound of flesh, but in the cutting it, if thou dost shed one draught of Christian blood, thy lands and goods are, by the laws of Venice, confiscate unto the state of Venice. Therefore, prefer thee to cut of the flesh, shed thou no blood, nor cut thou less, nor more, but just a pound of flesh. If thou cuts more or less than just a pound, be it so much as makes it light or heavy in the substance, or the division of the twentieth part of one poor scrapple, if the scale do turn but in the summation of a hair, thou diest and all thy goods are confiscated.